changing a central heating pump. My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to do a video on replacing a central heating pump. We're actually doing a power flush on this job so we're taking the pump out and then we're going to put the same pump back in but I just thought it was a good opportunity for Richard who's here somewhere. Richard's training to be a um, what are you training to be, Richard? Gas engineer. Gas yeah. engineer. Richard's training to be a gas engineer, and he's doing like um, what? What are the course is called, Richard? It's... Is it a fast track course? Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's. So Richard's doing like a fast track course, and he's just come with me to get a bit of experience. So we're going to take this pump out, or Richard's going to take this pump out, and he's going to have it live on YouTube so everybody can see. <laughs> Let's have a look. No pressure than Richard. Dropped in deep end yet again. Again, yes. Okay, so my job today is to remove this pump. Um, first of all, I so, uh, turned off the boiler. I safely isolated the electrics. Um, I turned off the water to the pump, um, which I need to do here for isolate from these two valves. And then, yeah, and then I can uh, remove the pump from these two nuts here using a beautiful tool which is designed perfectly for uh, removing the pump. That's it. So just to make this clear what's happened, the electrics have been isolated and tested to make sure that they're safe and that Richard's not going to get an electric shock. We don't want any shocks. And then on this one, this one's quite easy. It's got some pump valves on it and Richard's going to Turn these off and it'll show you that shortly. Turn them both off and then just open these nuts here. Slowly open the nuts and then drip the water out into a tub. As he says, we've got a special spanner that fits pumps really easy. You can also use grips. Um, have we got any grips somewhere? You can also use just normal grips if you if you haven't got pump spanner. We've also got this for draining down, so you can put that wherever you want to make it easier for draining down. Turn these valves clockwise. No pressure then, Richard. No pressure. First time ever. Uh, we're there now, we're there now. That should isolate the water. You don't need to get carried away doing it too tight. Yeah. Um, and then now you're going to do this one as well. Do the bottom one. One thing to be careful with this is when you're going to undo it, if you're going to take anything off, just make sure it's under control as much as possible and that you've got things in place if something goes wrong so what we've got in place on this one we've got the Nurad Versa funnel and there's other ones it's just a flexible that's just flexible moves about stays wherever you move it we've got some blue roll behind just to hold it in place and protect the electrics underneath we don't want water to get into the electrics We've also got this tub here to drain water into and then we've also got some other little tubs as well. Just nice and steady, just let it, just let it do it itself. Just 
just a bit at a time. So that's sort of stopped. It's just slowly dripping now. And now Richard's going to remove this and also remove this as well these two nuts on pump valves one thing to be careful is the pump and to make sure that you put it on the right way around after on this one this is the floor coming in and it goes down there and it goes down to that t one goes to one valve down and then one goes to another valve which is there This valve here is for the hot water and that goes into the hot water cylinder and this is an unvented cylinder and the, that zone valve there that goes that way down there and that goes to the central heating system. Want to take the rest of this pump out then now Richard? Yep, okay. Keep all that pump because it'll fall. And it might be a bit tight, so just wiggle that back and forth a bit. Just slowly. Once it yeah. starts water coming out like that, just stop and let the water go. So Richard's removed the pump now, just one thing to check them seals on there. If you're going to put your pump back in, just make sure these seals are in good condition. It's always a good idea to put some new rubber seals on, if you can, if you've got any available. And then obviously to put your new pump in, you just put your pump back in in the same way and the same direction as well so you need to make sure that it's going in the same direction so in this case that's the flow as I've said already and it's pumping down towards the valves so you just need to make sure that you get that on the right way around what we're doing on this job we're doing a power flush on this job so we're going to put some connections in here now and we're going to power flush the central heating system. We just got washer on there. Just show you, you've got that washer on there, Richard. Yep. You see, he's got that washer on there now, and we're going to connect the power flush machine into this, which is just there. Push it up to it to start with and then tighten it up. Don't go too tight with that. Because yeah. all that happens it's washer will fall into, into it and it'll leak. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just put the hoses onto that. Just do this one first, Richard. Just continue the one that you've done. Connect that one onto the power flush machine. Do it on that one over there. Bottom one. Yeah. Bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Put your 
your flaps open so it's all going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember, everything's nice and easy. easy Just easy. do it gently. Don't force anything. Just connect that other one up as well. And then what we'll do then, we'll undo these nuts on here and then we'll start filling the machine up. I will do another video on flushing this heating system. And also we're going to do a service on that boiler as well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.